about five minutes. So let me talk to you about a subject that's kind of created a buzz, and you know what it is. I, I've given you a heads up on it. It's about the foundation bonus uh, of the 54810 Now, I went back and did a little research on it, and I've actually sent it to have it put up on my Facebook page so you can see the legislation that allowed this to happen. Uh, just from this goes into effect, or it actually stops on June 30th, 2020, as far as you being able to get that bonus. Is that your understanding, or from your perspective, just share with the listeners a little bit of insight about this situation. So this, you know, the legislation that you're referring to was actually passed before I, I came to the state. And uh, part of it was that the governor wanted to, to look outside uh, Arkansas and, and bring someone in who is, has done economic development on, a, you know, a, a, on a statewide basis and in, in, in other areas and in competitive states. And uh, part of the uh, the challenge that the um, the governor saw when he came into the office is that the pay was capped um, uh, for that position. So uh, through some recommendations of a, um, a study that was done, I guess, goodness, a little over five years ago on what Arkansas needed to do for economic development, one was a, uh, a pay scale uh, for a top-level executive. Uh, the legislature agreed to that and saw that fit so that there was the ability to, you know, have that pay for the state, but then allow for the foundation, which is a private um, organization to help supplement uh, the, the pay, very similar to what is done at the University of Arkansas uh, to pay their, you know, their athletic coaches, the football coach and, and basketball coach who receive some state pay, but the most, the bulk of their uh, funding comes through uh, that foundation. So this was set up in a very similar uh, manner to that. Uh, that allowed the uh, the governor to to recruit to the state, and I was fortunate enough to get the opportunity to come here. Part of one of the reasons you know that I, I saw it attractive is because they had that pay uh, structure in place, and this is something that would uh, help um, uh, offset my salary uh, is from coming from the foundation. So as long as the governor uh, recommends to the foundation uh, paying that each year, that's uh, that's part of my salary and. Uh, they also, you know, provide me with a quarterly payment uh, that is due uh, again each quarter. So that's how it's been for for the last five years, and uh, anticipate it uh, going forward uh, in this position. So the payment that was referenced in the article this past week is that the quarterly payment, or is that the annual payment? Plus, you get the quarterly payment with that. Right, I, I get a quarterly payment. Uh, from the foundation to help uh, bring up the the, uh, the salary, and then at the end of every year, uh, get an annual lump sum, and that's what's referenced in the uh, the article this week. All right, and that was created in special language that was crafted by the governor's letter and added to the appropriation in the 2015 session. You can go up on my website; that should be up there before long. That uh, shows where that was passed back in in 2015. 